Hi Aries, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys. This is Sun, Moon, and Rising, also for the Feminines, Mars, the Masculines, Venus. And I already pre-shuffled a lot. I'm just going to shuffle a few more times and we'll get going. Happy New Year. It is January 1st, 2020. So 2020 vision going forward and hindsight. And this is for Aries. And this is definitely good for the first half of January, but definitely throughout the month as well. All right, so Aries. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all is concerned. And filling that empty space with beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep breath, Aries. Okay. So Aries, first card. The Five of Pentacles. What is your challenge? The King of Pentacles. What is your foundation? The Lovers. Ooh, Aries. Uh, recent past is the Five of Swords reversed. And what's crowning in your head in your now moment is Judgment reversed. What's coming up for you is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And how do you see yourself? You see yourself as the Nine of Cups reversed. All right, what's around you or how others might see you is the Knight of Swords reversed. And what are the blocks that you may need to work on? I'm going to move these over a little bit. Maybe move my camera just a little bit. That's better. Okay. The blocks that you might need to work on have to do with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. And where we end up for you is the Eight of Cups. Okay. So I'll do a hangman thing here. So this card is the card that will connect you to the card that's going to tell you what's hanging in limbo at the end of the read. So what's connecting you is the Queen of Wands, which could very well be you. And I, uh, for me, I'm a reader who uses the face value of the gender. So if it's a queen, it's most likely a divine feminine person. And then the what's hanging in limbo is the Seven of Swords. Someone's like sneaking out the back, Jack. All right, and then I pull another card for you, but I don't show that to you to the end, and I pull, usually pull more than one depending on what comes up next. So I like to get you a full story there. Then the underlying energies is the Three of Pentacles Reverse, which I'm going to pull some of the cards from the bottom of the deck to give you the backstory on that. Take a deep breath. There's a bit of stress in the air today. I'm not feeling you quite as stressed as Pisces was. Pisces is getting a lot of stress coming up. All right, so this is your underlying energy. You have the King of Cups over here, hanging out. All right, got the Empress up here, got the Queen of Pentacles reversed here, and then the Three of Pentacles reversed. So there may be some people not getting along at work here. Okay, could be a third party situation as well through work, which doesn't have to be romantic. It just It can be work, like interference at work. Um, or anything. It could be family related at work as well. But the King of Cups is upright. He's looking happy and being loving. And the Empress, I don't know, in this deck the Empress, sometimes she's questionable because she's got that big ring. She's like the ringleader. So she may be upright but she may feel justified in being kind of that slave driver and the Queen of Pentacles reversed isn't happy. She's either losing money or her job or isn't happy with the money she's making and no one's gonna give her a raise. So she might have to leave, you know, that type of energy. Or the Queen of Pentacles is all about money and maybe she's been taking money, all right? We have that liar, cheater, thief card coming up. All right, let's see what's going on with the lovers next door and the, and the ending the war above it. So let's see what's going on. The Three of Pentacles there. All right, we have an offer of love. 
coming out of a lot of options or maybe lots of offers of love. Maybe the King of uh, Cups or the Empress is very popular um, or they just have a lot of uh, emotions or someone seeing synchronicities of love. Uh, it could be regarding, you know, they're all Cups energy. It could very well be that King of Cups getting a lot of attention and it may be causing issues at work. All right, so the recent past is that uh, Five of Swords reversed. So like, you know, ending the war, can there can be some PTSD when that card comes up reversed. So this Queen of Pentacles reverse may feel some of that end of war energy, right? Because when the war is over, you still feel the rebound of it. Like you can't just be in a war for four years and then all of a sudden know that the war is over. Your body's still in it. So there's still some issues that need to be worked out there. So let's see what comes up with that Five of Swords reverse. So some kind of new life or new offer of money or a loan, that type of thing is coming in to someone who's been unhappy or not satisfied with what they have. This could be a raise as well. Um, but maybe they're not satisfied with what you're offering after the war about it. But you are getting something, whether it's you offering or you getting. And then this is someone who's uninspired, still unhappy with that result. Um, this could be someone who's having temper tantrums too. Or just frustrated that they're not getting what they want maybe something more was promised to them okay and it looks like it's the Queen of Pentacles because you know the, the Empress would be above her giving the money right so all right and this is for Aries so why do we have the lovers there in the foundation for Aries um, it definitely could be connected to it doesn't have to be a sexual relationship it could be that you, you're, you know, your lover is your job or your work, or that you have a great affection for the people at work, or there's someone specific at work that you love. So why does Aries have the lovers and the foundation? Well, someone's been cheating or being sneaky either way. This has to do with moving or ending a marriage, or you could be moving your business as well, but maybe no one knows about it, so you're sneaking about it, but there's a lovers here. So if it is your, the lover is your work, you could definitely be opening a new business and nobody knows about it, or you're literally cheating and this is moving or ending a marriage. It could be going to visit a friend's too, but not telling anyone about it, sneaking, sneaking away. And we have that card over here too at the end with hanging in limbo. So this sneaky lover situation or just a great affection for someone isn't going away. Whoop, look at this, guys. The lovers and the star card come, these came up next to each other for Pisces, too. So you could be connected to Pisces, or you might have Pisces and, and Aries in the same chart. I know my daughter's a Pisces, and her rising is Aries. So um, you have the lovers and the star card coming out after that. There's definitely some big love here. And then I have to pull her out because she's in the underlying energy, right? Same position, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Maybe that's why she's upset, because she could be a third party through work. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles in the middle there. That could be someone left out in the cold, in exile, feeling abandoned, homeless, um, like kicked out of the church or any kind of organization. Could be home, you know, kicked out of um, a club. Um, Maybe a group of friends has, like, you know, pushed you out of the group. Or you could be leaving the hospital as well in that kind of energy, right, if you got injured. So the Five of Pentacles is coming up with the Three of Wands being present to the moon and the, the, um, the eclipse coming up on the 10th, which is a lunar eclipse at the full moon. So... Um, It's like um, the lovers is connected to this destitution here, whether it's emotional, financial, physical, whatever the destitution is, feeling left out, has to do with this love relationship. So maybe you have to give something up, maybe a job or a family in order to have this great love, whether it's your work or a person. Okay? So there's a lot of hard work involved. The king of, of pentacles, Aries, why is that there? Why do the King of the Pentacles as your um, challenge? <sighs> OK. 
Okay, so we have the end of pain. This is the worst is over. There's, this is also the bliss state as the swords fall out. That's when the bliss comes. And this has to do with either not using your intuition, but he looks good. He's the king of pentacles upright. So it could be a secret's out about this love situation. Okay, and, and the king of pentacles definitely holding on. He's saving, holding on, grounding. He could be skating on thin ice because he's sneaking. Okay. But he's being practical here, which may be new for him. He's the king of pentacles. So he doesn't usually deal in four of pentacles. He's bigger than that. So he may have lost some money, whether it's in a business or in a relationship, in a divorce. And he's got a secret, which may have come out. And that's, I'm not going to put this down, but that's the same energy for the middle. All right, so it has to do with that work, but it's upright here. So as far as he's concerned, it's upright. And here's just, there's a separation as well. So whether that's work or home. Uh, the crowning position is that judgment reverse, which is deliberating, right? St standing at the Y in the road, not doing what you need to do, making a decision. You need to make a decision. So why? Someone's surrendering. Queen of Swords reversed. Surrendering or giving up. Okay, so not, not hearing the call to action or not getting called or not calling, not hearing the call. Or just made a bad decision or bad judgment about something. So they're kind of, you know, you're skittish about going forward. But we have the Wheel of Fortune afterwards regarding the two out in the cold in the middle of the reed. So this is good. The wheel just has to turn. That's divine timing. All right, coming up, the Ten of Pentacles reverse. So again, there could be some financial loss because of leaving a business or leaving a family. And that's probably why Aries is also um, feeling like they're not getting their wish. Maybe they, you know, they have plans with whatever commitment they had, and now they're leaving that. So um, they could be dissatisfied or unhappy, or they could be up upset with the lover as well. Whether it can be affection for a business, a child, a partner. But why the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Well, there it is upright. It was upright, but now it's reversed. Someone's feeling weak. This could be ego death or Leo out of control. Could be spending money. Maybe they're pissed at you because of some kind of sneaky situation or a cheating situation. But this could just be Leo out of control. But there's the either, either someone's spending the money because they're mad at you here, or that's just because of a split from a business or a family, and obviously you're going to lose money in that situation. Could be an inheritance that you're living off of now too, that you're depleting because you're not working. Maybe your work was um, uh, near your your partner, or maybe you had a business together. So um, it involves, you know, separating the funds completely. So why do we have you as the Nine of Cups reversed? Why are you unhappy? Why you, you could be a little bit arrogant there? Well, you're not getting your wish, and you may be just unhappy alone. This is someone sharing or settling out in order to offer new love. So that co coincides with everything I just brought up. And it's taking forever. Okay, so the divorce or the end of a business could take forever. Somebody's holding their tongue, but they really want to run in with the truth. But they're holding their tongue or holding back an announcement. And we have that same card right here around you. The Knight of Swords reversed. So why? Knight of Swords reversed. Not expressing your feelings, you're holding back, not telling. Not exchanging energy, holding back. I mean, there could be some verbal abuse here, right, if you're upset. But that's not showing, that you could be upset with the person you're settling out with, so that there may be some little verbal back and forth with them, but you're holding your tongue and you're holding back. I'm not really getting the verbal abuse thing. All right, somebody's at work, working on, this doesn't have to be at work, it can be. It also could just be working out details, getting your ducks in a row. Um, you could be stressed out, crying, suffering in silence, up nights, purging. Okay, But keeping your, your mouth closed, there's some insecurity here too. So that can lead to manipulation, especially in the old situation, so be careful of that. Uh, the blocks that you need to clear, ooh, that one to come out, temperance. So impatience and losing your temper. This could also be the energy of the fallen angel after a sudden event or epiphany. This is the fallout or the aftermath of the war, right? That you may lose your patience. And it's the, the wheel reverse. 
which is a downturn of luck, so you think, or it could just be a retrograde. It could just be um, the universe slowing things down so you can see things very closely and clearly in slow motion before moving ahead. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups at the end there, walking away and within from a lot of things that you worked hard on to build. So it was a very difficult decision to walk away from all those cups. But there's poop in the yard, and someone's left the cups all over the place from New Year's Eve last night. This is somebody grounding and integrating an offer of love. This can be bored or apathetic about it, right? It's the same old, same old. You know, you know same thing, different day. But it's really, boredom is the time to ground and integrate anything you've taken in recently. So it's time to feel what's going through you, to let it out, go through it. But here is someone who needs help. They need help, uh, money, or an opportunity. Someone who, or someone who just never learns and is always, um, you know, getting people to start, help them start at least, or do things for them. This could be an opportunist energy as well. Because you're kind of just bored and apathetic. You're not really inspired here. But that's why you're walking away. And the next two cards coming up for you with the Queen of Wands. Is the world coming full circle? This could be going out in the world. Um, going around the neighborhood. Marching to the beat of your own drum. And celebrating with friends. Okay, so this is really positive energy. So then why is the Queen of Wands celebrating with friends and then... We have the um, Seven of Swords. So that could be while she's celebrating with friends, somebody else is beelining out the back door, or that's her sneaking out to go out with friends. So which is it? Because we could have a, a masculine Aries or a feminine Aries here, right? And even the King of, of Pentacles. I'm getting the Two of Cups popping out there. Hold on. So the Two of Cups is popping out there in a split. So it doesn't really tell me which one, but one of you, whether you're the Queen of Wands or you're the King of Pentacles, who else is out here? We got the Queen of Pentacles too. So, and the Queen of Wands can be the Queen of Pentacles just coming out again to distinguish which one, or it could be a separate person too. So any of you could be the Aries, but there's definitely masculines and feminines out here. We have um, Gemini, we have Aquarius, Libra, so all the air signs, yep, it's all air signs out here, guys. Dealing with a lot of air. So there's a split, or this is a lie, cutting through the crap, needing clarity on the situation, but definitely connecting with someone here, but going through a split. That's someone sneaking out there. And there we go, we got the King of Wands reversed. He's the one sneaking out the back, stuck in his emotions, unable to find peace, very sexually frustrated. Uh, he's lovesick. <laughs> Aww. It's like a, you know, that's soulmate energy. Lovesick. Could be children, too. It could be children sick, but this is upright. But they could be sick. Could be a child with a specific illness or just lovesick. So nice Aries. The other cards that were coming out that I should told you I'd show you at the end. After sneaking out the back there, we have the Hierophant Reverse, which definitely could be a divorce can be a break in any kind of contract, whether it's a divorce or work. It's also um, a break in tradition establishment, being more spiritual, thinking outside the box, okay? And then we have going to work again, looking very closely, examining the details very closely, maybe researching or uh, maybe it's take an exam or just getting your ducks in a row, you know, seeing how much money you have, examining some statements, maybe an audit, perhaps. And then you have, and that could be a prenuptial agreement too, if you're coming together with someone with this strong bond here. You might wanna uh, have a work relationship with them. Or it is just a work relationship, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. And here's a very um, symbiotic relationship. You have um, an equal partnership there, which is nice. And then you have the Leo card or strength card um, you know, taming the beast, but this could be someone who's leaving, um, someone who's been on a leash, and they're breaking that because they want an equal relationship now. So this could be you being strong and allowing someone to guide you, but you don't want to be on a leash. 
So you may be leaving this kind of relationship, an old fashioned type of relationship to um, this old fashioned relationship here um, to be a more equal relationship like this, a real partnership, okay, whether it's work or in your personal life. So there could be a Leo that's leaving, but that's just your inner strength, okay? So let's just pull a clarifier, just one for that column of cards. What's up with this Two of Cups? Okay, someone's felt trapped, either by the Emperor or the Emperor felt trapped. He's the one sneaking out the back with the King of Wands reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed. All right, feeling, all right, maybe he was rejected, so he's leaving. Or just feeling vulnerable. That could be he's spoiled too, spoiled brat. Um, not much as much money left anymore and then here we have the empress so there's definitely a split here someone rejecting the other and so there's not as much money left she's reversed so she's unhappy the emperor doesn't look so maybe he's the one leaving because so he's not happy um, um someone's happy they're free bottom of the deck is the king of swords reversed so not being in their truth after hanging out in limbo well, or maybe a, an announcement came out, whether it's the separation or the divorce or the divorce coming through or some kind of announcement at work after sitting in some uncomfortable feelings, right? Hanging out for a bit to see another perspective, but still not in your truth here. If that's you, this could also be a lawyer or um, somebody else in any kind of profession, really. It could be, um, could be um, a mediator psychiatrist could be police military anything like that um, but they're reversed that's not good energy it's either a cutthroat lawyer or someone who's not in their truth or just really off could be lying or giving you the silent treatment and then I'm gonna pull you some Oracle cards Aries let's see what you got for the numerology deck. There's not much really in the kid department here, so I don't really think there's much with the kids over here, because I don't see, there's no pages out. And there's definitely um, loss of money somewhere here. The King of Pentacles is good though, so this, this looks like it's a breakup or a split. Spiritual Partnership 27, Ace of Wands, so a new passion. And these two want to come up to 37 is the King of Cups, nice, time out. And 33, communication, time out to communicate. 33 is the Christ vibration as well as the seven of wands, standing up for yourself without getting defensive. And there's all gold and purple, which is third eye and above. And rebirth comes out after that, which is 16, the tower card. The underlying energy is moderation, so be more moderate, especially if you lost more money. This is the 14 of the temperance card. And then we have romance angels. Let's see what you have here. There may have just been layoffs as well at a job or someone had to get fired because the business wasn't making as much as it used to or because of personal relationship or someone's leaving the, the partnership of the business like these could be um, three people in the partnership these three and the queen of pentacles could be leaving so what do we have here in, for romance angels for aries Deep breath, Aries. January 1st, 2020. For Aries. All right, there, that came right out. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And soulmate wants to come out as well. Yes, this is your soulmate. And the bottom of the deck is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime, which Pisces had that on the bottom too. So you guys must be connected there. Either you're connected or you have both signs in your chart. And let's see, this is the Kipper deck. Okay, Kipper deck. And let's see for Aries. What does the Kipper deck want to tell you? That came right out too. So somebody thinking of you could be either way with him. He could be the girl thinking about the guy, but the energy is more mostly about the guy thinking about the girl. All right, but this is for Aries. 
We also have an official person here, which could be that king of swords, right? Because there's some kind of adjudication. So there could be um, settling out, marital, child custody issues, or just some kind of suit, lawsuit in court, or just official legal papers. It can just be wills and all that kind of stuff as well. It doesn't have to be anything really big. And then we have unexpected income, so something had come in at the underlying energy, but there was some thief energy around this with the main male, uh, with the, this feminine energy with expectations. So maybe in a breakup, this one was expecting to get um, uh, money. What one person gets more income than they thought they were going to get out of the situation, right? Because of some kind of um, impropriety, perhaps, came out. And then we're just going to do with Metatron, okay? And then we're going to go. Metatron! For Aries, January 1st, 2020. What do we have? That one to come right out. Leadership. Answer the call, Aries. Number eight. Strength. So there's that Leo energy again. And we have building blocks for life. Priorities, 52, which is the Queen of Swords. Okay, being your truth and integrity. Okay, and here's this rainbow pyramid here of the chakra system. You know, a strong foundation going up through all of the chakras, make sure everything's balanced and that you got your angel wings of integrity out there. There's very official energy here. There be, may be somebody's lawyer here as well, but I got leadership, answer the call. And this matches like, it starts at the red and then it comes up to the purple. So kind of like coming together there. The bottom deck in the energy is love, relationships and harmony. Maybe it's taking the lead in love. Number six, the lovers. Really nice, Aries. Okay. Make sure to drink your water and get your rest, your joy, your nature, and do what you gotta do. Take the lead, it says, Aries. Okay, looks like you're almost through what you need to get through. So be good to yourself. We're just starting out the year rising to the top.